the Museum of Monsters is a new haunted social media photo op experience. It's at Tivoli Village. The 3,000 square foot space provides the perfect place for you to snap that Halloween pic. Yeah, and this morning Mike Davis is live at the Museum of Monsters taking some pictures of his own. All right, Mike, what's it like in there? You know, it's so cool here, guys. I was taking a lot of pictures earlier of this room that we're going to take you in right now. We're here with Dirk Hagen, the creator and owner of Museum of Monsters. Let's go inside here because this is my favorite room, Dirk, the Universal Monsters. And Jason and Alyssa, you know, sometimes, you know, when you go to experiences and, for instance, you go to a Christmas experience and the person that runs the experience doesn't even like Christmas and you get that feeling, that's not the case here with Dirk Hagen. And that's why I love it here because, Dirk, you just have such a genuine love for this and that's really the impetus for you putting this on this year here in Las Vegas locally owned and operated what is this experience like when people come out to Tivoli Village and check this out well what we wanted to do was offer them something as an alternative to a traditional haunted house we've been doing haunted houses for over 30 years and we thought this time it was time to offer something that where audiences could get more close and personal to the monsters when you're going through a haunted house you can't really stop and take a picture with a monster whereas in here we have over 30 monsters and figures from your nightmares from famous movies tv shows right. and it's a self-guided tour you take as much time as you like in here taking photos with dracula frankenstein pennywise jason freddy all the classics are here and we encourage everybody because you don't have to worry about getting scared like you do in a traditional right. haunted house. And we had a lot of positive feedback where people are just too afraid to go to a haunted house, but they want to go and experience something creepy and yeah. see some monsters. And this is the, kind of the alternative to that. And guys, I mean, you got to love this. I, it's just so cool. The space feels so grand. There's so many opportunities for pictures. It's only 20 bucks to get in. So we're going to be taking you out through the whole experience. But right now, guys, I mean, look at this. Nosferatu. I mean, maybe the scariest guy of all time. Let's go through all the universal guys. My dad would be very proud of me if I can name all these. We got Boris Karloff with the monster Frankenstein. We got Lon Chaney, fan of the opera. This is just a nun. The Invisible Man is over, over there somewhere else. This is Lon Chaney Jr., Wolfman. And of course, Bella Lugosi. I mean, scary stuff as Dracula. Coming up, we're going to be with Dirk Hagen. We're talking so much. We're just having a great time geeking out on all the monster culture. But coming up, we're taking you throughout the rest of the experience here at Museum of Monsters. Such a cool place, guys. 20 bucks. Something great to do with the family for Halloween. I don't know about just a nun. I mean, uh, some of my Catholic friends have told me uh, what it was like. Was it CCD uh, or, or what they went to? And they, they could be scary, oh. those nuns. I just remember in Sister yeah. Act. Ah, that too. <laughs> uh, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Mike. All right, see you guys. All right, let's head back to Tivoli Village and check in with Mike Davis. He's live at the Museum of Monsters, getting into the Halloween spirit. You've got a really creepy clown behind you. That's Pennywise, Alyssa. Oh. There's so much stuff here at Museum of Monsters. It just gets freakier and freakier. But the cool thing is there is no scaring. It's perfect for the family because it's really just a social media pop-up photo opportunity. There you see Freddy Krueger, of course. And now we're back here in another grand room with the creator and owner of Museum of Monsters, Dirk Hagen. So Dirk, tell us about the inspiration of this room we're in right now. Well, this is kind of an homage to some of the kind of 70s and early 80s monsters. So you've got the Exorcist and uh, characters from the Exorcist franchise, uh, Pinhead, we have some zombies, and then we have some general pumpkin-related creatures. And again, everything is all an homage to monsters and the creatures of the night. And uh, we're, you know, we're looking forward to everybody coming down. And we're only going to be open for the rest of this week. We close on Halloween evening, and then everybody gets put back in their grave. And tell us about the hours of operation. What time do you guys open? I know it's 20 bucks to get in. What time do the hours start? Uh, it's Monday through Friday, 6 yeah. p.m. to 11 p.m. And then Saturday and Sundays, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. all day. Okay, see, it's really a lot of fun. How do you get your hands on all this stuff? Because you take a look at some of these characters from The Exorcist. I mean, look at the way the eyes pop out on some of these characters. How do you get a, your hand on these figures? Well, a lot of them, uh, we contact um, special effects artists in the uh, film industry, and we basically contract them to make them. So you can find, this is uh, the Exorcist figures where um, the heads were done by an artist in the UK. Pennywise, it was an artist in Italy that made that head. And so we reach out to the community 
to look for different creatures, and yeah. we make a lot of the stuff ourselves as well. And the key thing for making these look so realistic is the eyes, making them glass eyes, making the eyes look realistic, or having the mouths or the teeth glow or gl you know glisten and stuff. That's really what makes it look realistic because people walk right up to it and yeah. are convinced it's an actor. Yeah, it's real. It's it's really cool, and kids, families are loving this. You said so far, a lot of the kids just recognize the characters and they want to sprint it's, up and take a picture. It's really funny. I, I'll be listening, you know, uh, on another room and listening to children. And kids of all ages coming through, and they'll recognize, oh, there's Johnny and Red Room, and they'll start, you know, putting all these phrases up from the films. Oh, there's Pennywise, and these are younger kids that you know, normally you would think, you know, would be afraid to go yeah, through something yeah. like this. And then, yet, yeah, we'll have adults coming through, and they won't go near Pennywise. You know, they'll just they'll, they'll hug the wall and go right by, and they won't go anywhere near him. So, it, it really is a celebration of monsters, and again for kids of all ages because nothing will come out and scare you. Nothing's yeah. going to pop out. So I think that's the key it's thing. It's safe, fun. It's a perfect way to get into the Halloween spirit. Exactly. Thank you so much, Dirt. Guys, Tivoli Village, Museum of Monsters, happening for the rest of this week up until Halloween. Come check it out, 20 bucks. I'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Mike, thank you.